back to LP's LP's Let's Play Mother 2 Earthbound. Last episode, we made our way to Summers, and we ate a mysterious cake, and it put us here. We are now Tingle, alternatively known to you existing Mother fans as Poe. And now we're opening presents, so what do we got in the first one? Open the chest. Whoa, there's a brain food lunch. Delightful. The second one has a cup of life noodles, and the third one presumably also has another food item. It's a brain stone. What is that? That is new. We also have a tiny ruby and a bottle of water. <laughs> we got lots of food. What is the brain stone, though? A miraculous stone that enables you to concentrate without using your own brain. This is accomplished by just using your item. Okay. This is great because if you can't concentrate, you can't use PSI. So what is that, like a, like a, like a size stone? It seems that Mr. Tingle here is size sensitive. He's got the life up and the healing. He's got 37 PP. What are his stats? He's level 15, so he's pretty weak comparatively. Whatever, we'll make it happen. Let's talk to some people. What's Mr. Miyagi think? Go, quickly! Use the treasures of the lawn as you wish. Go in peace. Hello? Uh, is that you, LP? Why are you disguising your voice like that? Who are you pretending to be? Oh, well, it's not a big deal. I suppose you need to have a sense of humor at a time like this. I deposited 496 in your bank account. Take Wait, this is Dad. <laughs> so this is what Dad looks like. Oh, my God. He's hideous. Okay, let's move on. This is a beautiful palace. Lots of gold. It's very extravagant. Surely Porky Pokey would be happy here. Prince Tingle, you're my favorite. <laughs> Very nice, young woman. I'll have to go. Look at these statues! They say no problem. The problem is how much they excite me. What is immortality? Is it everlasting life? Mm -hmm. I guess that's, I mean, what is immortality? I, I would say that it's not being mortal. What does it mean to be mortal? To be mortal means that you can die, and to be immortal being the opposite of that means you can't die, so everlasting life would be immortality? Well, I don't know for certain. It's a philosophical question. Seems that we've got a linear path here. <laughs> Fell wind is in the air. Oh, Prince Tingle, I'm surprised you're not in training. It seems like that's all you do these days. Why don't you take some time to play with me? I'm so lonely without you. Sure, let's let's dance. Or something. I don't know. Let's check out this house. How about we do that? That sounds fun, right? Please, Cameron. Walk around the house as much as you want. Okay. Hmm, I'm gonna look at your table here, look at your chairs. Ooh, I'm gonna look at your present and I'm gonna take whatever's inside. A bottle of water! I'm hoarding these, thank you. We're bracing for an upcoming hurricane, you know. And one more individual here. Oh, Prince Tingle, do you have time to play with me? Yes! Happy me! Patty cake, patty cake. What if I say no? Ha, <laughs> I knew it. Training changed you. I'm jealous of your training. Training, huh? In quotations, is that what they're calling it now? Interesting. Uh, this is... I just roasted some garlic and ate it, so the room still stinks. You just ate the garlic? You just cooked the garlic and ate it? <laughs> I mean, I suppose if that's all you got, you need to eat, right? Who am I to judge? But that just doesn't sound particularly appealing to me. I heard the Prince Tangle is deeply into moo training. I want to help him if I can. Moo training. I've been doing a moo training? What am I training? Am I training to be a cow? You know that you do everything well, right? Do-do? Oops. <laughs> Say, Prince Tingle, are you still popular with the girls? Yeah. I heard you're living a more serious lifestyle these days. And what if I do no? You've been acting very serious lately. Okay, well, yeah. Oh, in the present, we've got a jar of deli sauce. No, 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 not Tiny Ruby. Jar of deli sauce. Used by sprinkling over food, it tastes good with any kind of food, thereby increasing the recovery power of the food. Okay, it's a condiment. Deli sauce. What is that, like mayonnaise? <laughs> That's the only... Well, I guess mustard might be a deli sauce as well. Prince Tingle, oh, you're such a hunk. Indeed, indeed. Delam Restaurant, we accept American dollars. <laughs> okay, very nice. This floating kingdom here. I wish I could recover my pee-pee just by drinking water. Even though I've never seen him before, I heard that the prince can do that. I guess I need more training. By the way, what what, what is pee-pee anyways? Wait, I thought the water was... 
I thought the water was for health. When you drink it, you pee pee. Okay, bottle of water, pee pee, delicious. We serve water, rice gruel, and those sort of things. What would you like to do? So a bottle of water, rice gruel, which sounds horrifyingly unappealing. And then brain food and other stuff we already got. Let's just take your stuff, right? It's a bowl of, why would I buy it? I'm just, I'm the prince, I'm going to take it. Yep, I got it all. I've got over half full inventory now at this point. I am ready to fight stuff, and I guess I probably will fight stuff because we're assuredly going to have to take control of this guy and bring him back to where everyone else is. What's over here? This is Moo, the place of nothingness. People who train here must first clear everything from their mind. If you can't, if you can make your mind blank and learn the true meaning of Moo, you'll pass through. Moo is Moo. You have nice eyes. You must be Prince Tingle. Long ago, I completed Moo training. I want to show you a higher level of intelligence. However, I'm still realizing and learning this high level. Well, I'll see you again. So long. Oh. The man has disappeared and grants us access to the Moo Tower. What do we have up here? Meditation. Ah, Prince Tingle, I am a messenger from your master. He, he sent me to tell you that you must stop your meditation immediately. Prince Tingle, you must come back with me instead of staying in a place such as this. Your master wishes it. Please, rise, Prince. Your Highness, you must give up this trial for now. I believe what I say. It is the truth. Okay, so that, that that person over there on the ledge is telling us to not do this. I can't imagine why I am the prince. I do what I please, when I please, how I please. And I guess I please to go this way because there be some bunny rabbit looking people here. Who are you? As strange as this may sound, there are statues of rabbits blocking your way. Um, sounds pretty strange. Can we... Can we move them? Can the statues be relocated? Can they stand so... I'm stuck. I'm... I'm stuck. Ah! What am I gonna do? Oh, no, we're good. Okay. Whew. That was a little scary. Uh, we have seen everything there is to see here, though. Maybe we should go back to the palace and talk to someone? Maybe that's what that individual is saying. Or maybe this guy right here is the master. He looks masterful. No, he just wants to fart. Okay, well, you continue being gassy. I told you not to eat so many beans, buddy, but you insisted. You insisted. And maybe this dude over here will have something else to say other than get lost. <laughs> he told us to just go. I, we'll go where? I won't say anything. Go to Moo, the place of emptiness again. What the heck? Well, at the behest of the Royal Visage, we have returned to Moo. The, uh, the place of emptiness. We're gonna probably pop another squat, and what does that do for us now? Ah, Prince Tingle, I am a messenger from your master. He sent me to tell you that you must stop here. What the heck is going on here? I... I... What, what is the meaning of this? Dude, you're killing my feet. And by feet, I mean my thumbs because I'm, I'm just pressing a button. <laughs> I'm not actually walking, of course, but still, I don't understand this. I'm wasting a lot of time walking back and forth. Does anyone have anything different to say? Is there anything different to see? We, no, there, there, hmm. Nothing is changing and we've just continued to go back and forth a couple of times now. Uh, I'm, I'm interested actually in checking out this ledge, since that's where the person was that called to me? Nothing. And we did check this house out, did we not? We did. This is not, yeah, this is the garlic one. Okay, very nice. Keep eating your garlic. And the roasted garlic doesn't actually stink. It smells pretty good, to be honest with you. It's just the idea of eating it alone. <laughs> it's a little disinteresting to me. You know, speaking of garlic, apparently in Japan they have a garlic flavored ice cream. How's that sound, huh? That's pretty interesting, I think. I traditionally think of garlic as like a, a, a seasoning or a part of savory dishes, right? Like maybe with red meat or even fish and chicken. Uh, this is the same thing. What is going on? There's no, there's no hint boy here. I'm just gonna stay. I'm just gonna stay. I noticed now that 
that Mr. Pooh, Mr. Tingle here does not get up unless we press a direction. So I'm just going to continue to meditate and look at this. There's a freaking grandpa floating down on me. He looked very angry. Prince Tingle, I am the spirit of your ancient lineage. To complete your trial, I am going to break your legs. <laughs> well, you will lose the use of them. Do you accept this? Uh, I mean, no, but yes. Oh, God. So, Prince Tingle, you cannot walk as your legs are broken. Next, I will tear your arms off. I shall take your arms and feed them to the crows. The taking of your arms. Do you accept this? Sure, whatever. Just kill me. Ah, Prince Tingle, without legs and arms, you can only lie there. Now I'll cut your ears off. You do not mind me taking your hearing away, do you? You accept this? <laughs> sure, whatever. Just get rid of everything. So, Prince Tingle, no legs, no arms, and no sound. By floating words through the air, I must ask you. Do you care if I take your eyes? Do you want to live in eternal darkness? I shall steal your sight. Do you accept? Yes, whatever. All of it. I'm just a, a, a doormat now. Now I can only communicate directly with your mind. Your mind is all you have left. In the end, I will take your mind. Though you probably don't want to allow that. Do you? So, you, you can't answer. You can't even move. Are you sad? Are you lonely? If you lose your mind, you also lose any feelings of sadness. Do you accept this? I'll take your mind. Please, no. I, I possess it. You sure you want to do this? Yeah, just do it. I don't know, man. Whatever is this, training or something? Interesting. Prince Dingle, you have now completed your training. The old master must be so pleased. Hurry now. Return to the palace. Okie dokie. Excellent. We, we, we didn't actually lose our, our legs, our limbs, our eyes, our ears, our mind. So that's a relief. It sure would have been difficult, I guess, to continue on the game with, uh, you know, our fourth party member being limbless. What would we do? We would just, like, drag him behind us with a rope? <laughs> oh, he, could, he wouldn't do anything. He just, he's just a... Just a hunk of flesh. He'd be like a teddy bear, right? He would just be a meat shield. He would just absorb damage. But now, being limbed and all, he can he can presumably help us. He is psi sensitive, as we learned earlier in this episode. All right, buddy, I completed it. I am proud. You have completed your mood training. There is nothing more to teach you from the holy writings. We can get our photo taken now. What's happening, Prince Dingle? I shall relay a message to you from eternity. The evil entity that controls all wickedness is preparing for the greatest struggle of all time. The only ones who can challenge the entity are three boys and one girl. One is named LP, is the leader of the four. One of the boys is you, Prince Tingle. Now that you've completed your training, search out LP at once. For all beings, for the Earth herself, I pray for growth in the might of the four. And we leveled up to 16. Oh, baby. We got a lot out of that, too. Very nice. Very nice. Realized shield be- Oh, 17. Very nice as well. Getting teleport, even. Okay. Wait, we learned teleport. We can just leave here. What about the bunnies? I'm going to 18 as well. We got the, the second teleport. There's a, a- What? Two teleports. Fascinating. What does that mean? Uh, oh, looks like we used one. Perfect. And we have joined the others! Look at it! Oh my god. My name is Tingle. I am the one who will fight beside you. I am the servant of LP. I will obey LP. LP, my life is in your hands. Ba ba ba! Excellent. The party is now complete. And we have a teddy bear, which means we got five people. Look at it. Look at it! Ah, uh, is there a way for us to get, like, everyone looking at the camera? Can we... Can we do that? Uh, don't, don't pay us any attention. We're just zigzagging children. I mean, that's the closest. I would like it if we could all be like this and look down, but I guess that's probably not easily doable. Anyways, I think we have jewelry now. Do we not? We got the tiny ruby from Tingle. Can we go to the top floor of the hotel and uh, bribe that guard dude? I bet we can. I bet we can. All right, buddy, I have... Oh, the Samurai Kid is here. Will he be giving me that gem? Yes. You're such a good student. I'm impressed by your passion for learning. Come in. You impressed by that or by our generational wealth? <laughs> Whoa, you got attacking the sarcophagi. What's going on here? 
the shattered man approached. It's kind of terrifying. Let's attack. And we also get a chance to use Tingle. He can bash. We didn't get him any items. Mirror. What is that? PSI. He's got Freeze and Thunder, which I don't love. Let's use Mirror. I want to see what that does. Uh, 32, 140 roughly, 180. And Tingle did not attack. Uh, Tingle relaxed and took a deep breath. He could not turn into... Oh, Mirror is straight up Mirror, like you turn into it. Fascinating. Well, let's just do... Another round of attacks. Is this, this should be enough, right? No, it's not! Thank God we got the plush bear because he did a freaking well, 130 damage and Tingle did a single damage. We need to get Tingle a weapon. He is not going to be effective like this. Uh, just use the normal freeze. If it even comes to that, right? Like maybe he'll die here? Nope, but he gave us a hug. How sweet. It didn't. The hug didn't work on a teddy bear, whatever that means. <laughs> but. But he, but he hugged. It's great. He's, he's a lover, not a fighter. Killed him! How much XP? Is that enough for Tingle to level up? 11,000, surely that is. Got a present too, a mummy wrap. Take that, leveling up LP as well. Wow, look at that. LP's getting up there. I mean, I guess everyone's, yeah, in the mid-30s. Tingle's still less than 20, so he's got a ways to go. 19! Maybe we'll get him to 20 in this battle? Yep, there we go! Beautiful, 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 excellent. HP went up. Did it say HP went up by 23? That's, that's a lot of that's a lot of health points. You also realize Psy Magnet. You suck inside juice out of people, maybe. Excellent. Do you feel like you're really experiencing this great historical period? The experience is more valuable than a small gem. <laughs> the other day, a rich kid came to Summers by helicopter. He also took a picture of the hieroglyphs. We got lots of money from him. <laughs> that was pokey. He stole that helicopter. It was supposed to be ours. All right, the Shattered Man attacked. And now that we know how strong they are, we should probably just use some PSI power. Uh, do that, Pongo. Farku, shoot, tingle. Use the Super Freeze. And maybe we can do this all in one turn? Eh, maybe not. 70 is a lot less than I would have expected from Pongo. Ooh, diddly dongus. He done bajingled the teddy bear. That was heinous. Tingle did good though with 250 damage, but but ba doo boo, man. That was a banana kind of attack. Goodness gracious. Alright, this is not good. We need to kill him this turn. Uh yeah, this should be enough, right? Perfect. Goodness gracious. Pongo was on her freaking deathbed. She got one foot under the earth. Another eleven thousand, another mummy wrap, too. What are those good for? We're going to have to look at that here in the next opportunity. And Tingle's really grabbing the levels, which is excellent. All right, let me look at this mummy wrap. Is this something that's important at all? If used as a whip, okay. Okay. So it's, yeah, nothing exciting. It's much like the handbag strap. Ooh, that's right, we have the the super life up, but it's only good for one of us. Let's just pongify the regular. Maxed out anyways. Let's look at this hieroglyph. Tingle read the hieroglyphs. To fight against the invaders, we built this pyramid fortress. However, our efforts were futile, and we lost. Nonetheless, our pyramid was protected by the gods of Scaraba. The invaders will be reborn every millennium and will attack again. Even now, the invaders hide beyond space and time and build their evil stronghold. A place out of time is beyond the dark and is even further beyond the lost underworld. The deep darkness is shrouded. It is without light. I mean, the deep. Darkness implies no light. <laughs> Only one with the hawk eye can pierce the dark. The Sphinx now watches over everything, waiting for the coming of a truly brave hero. 4325. Dance in front of the Sphinx! Uh huh. Light bulb! LP, let's go to Scaraba. The pyramid is the key. I don't know which one of you had that. Um, Farku and. Poe are on top of each other. Wait one second. Here's a picture of the hieroglyphs just for you. It's a reward for studying so hard. Pongo got the hieroglyph copy. Use it in your human civilization class. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Uh, when we go back to school, if we go back to school, we'll be sure to do that. We're taking, we're taking a gap year. We gotta figure some things out. Some things being, you know, the whole fate, the salvation of the world. Why is this phone ringing? Hello, is this Mr. Fork of the Scarab Cultural Museum? Doesn't sound like you. Well, I'll quickly tell you my story, because I'm busy, busy, busy. I found something so extraordinary that mere words cannot do it justice. 
What do you mean, who am I? Don't you recognize my voice? It's me, Mr. Spoon, from the Foresight Museum of Natural History. Look, Mr. Fork, I'm not exaggerating this find. I'm telling you, it's fantastic. It's outrageous. Hmm. So maybe we should go back to Foresight to talk to the museum guy? I wanted to go talk to this sailor, though, because he was going to be the one that, that, that takes us to Scaraba, right? To Carabas? I don't know. Italian food, perhaps. But he's just right over here. To go to Scarabo, you need to cross the sea. However, monster. Yeah. No, I'm not scared. So we're gonna get our photo taken to show you how not scared we are. Look at this. This man is amazing. He jumped onto the boat from the freaking roof of the house. It's like Carl Lewis. Insane long jumper. And look at this, we're actually all looking here at the camera. Beautiful. Now that's a thumbnail. That's a thumbnail, all right. Great. So so can you take us to see the Kraken? Or do we have to go back to, to Foreside? Or maybe that wasn't even the sailor. Maybe this was the sailor. Thank you. You made my wife wake up. She quit talking about all that serious crap. Yeah, let's work hard. You're courageous. Get on this boat. You'll probably see the Kraken and experience getting seasick. After all, it could only cost you your life, and you got that for free. Luck will determine the outcome of this voyage. You wanna sail the seas to Scaraba? 20 bucks per person's fine with me, let's do it. Let's do it, we're reckless, you know it. All right, um, I guess we'll go to Foresight later? We clearly have to go to Foresight at some point. Are we controlling this? No, we're not controlling this. It just didn't move for a second. And it's a different color than all the other boats. Look at that, that's how you, that's how you know it's us. It's not that it's moving or in the in the center of the screen, it's the fact that it's got a layer of algae on its hull and it's bearing a flag. What flag is that too? I don't know. It looks kind of familiar to me. Maybe it's just the fact that it's three horizontal lines and that's kind of a common flag thing. Passing by some islands. Apparently none of those are Scaraba. Still no sign of the Kraken. Ooh, that one has that one got some some architecture. We can go explore that maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. Wait! Why do I need to stop the boat? It's been a long time since I was out in the open sea, so I feel seasick. Well, you know, what am I gonna do? A sailor who gets seasick? <sighs> so how come you guys are alright? So that bald guy over there, your buddy, right? He came from Delam? You guys must be quite the adventurers. Are there times where you'd like to just go back home? So, you're not some mama's boy. Well, it wouldn't hurt you to go back and visit once in a while. <laughs> Ooh, I'm feeling much better now. Anchors away! Very good. Glad that our little <laughs> conversation there could help ease your nausea. But assuredly, it's just going to come back, right? Because that was not even like 20 seconds into the journey. And how long is the journey? I don't know. But it's, so far, it's going on pretty, pretty long. Longer than I thought it would. It's longer than the ride through Lake Tess. What is it, nighttime? I'm under cloud cover? Nope, there's the Kraken. There it be. Here it comes! There's volcanoes on the island to the west of us. All right, you are blocked by the Kraken. All stops go. Super eggs, super fire. Uh, Farku, got any bombs or anything? No, all right. Spy on it the first turn so that we can learn something about it and then tingle. We can mirror it, maybe? No, probably not. Probably can't turn into a freaking Kraken. Uh, freeze it, sure, and we'll see what that does. Pongo did fire. How strong is that? Only 54. Not very good. The Spy. Kraken's offense, 105. Defense, 166. No other contextual information about what it might be weak to, so that, not great. But, but, oh my god. Oh my god. Holy goodness gracious, what the heck happened? LP and Farku got one-hitted. So that's nice. Can we pray our way back into this? <laughs> oh, man, does healing bring us back? Uh, it just maxed out their HP. Tornado! Killed Pongo, and... Oh my god, well, this was a mistake. We're dead! Oh, buddy, we're dead, we're dead. The whole crew, the boat, and all, we are dead. Dead as hell. It says LP lost the battle, but really, we lost it collectively. Alright, well, maybe... Maybe we should just go back to Foresight. <laughs> maybe we're not ready for the, for the crapping. But we're going to do that next time. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you then.